you saying Zavin would be a pro bowler in his rookie year. I, I actually don't know how I feel about it now that I said it out loud. Because I agreed with another one of your predictions that Collins should, because of the nature of his position and the number of stats that he's just going to get, he's going to be in the conversation for defensive uh, rookie of the year, I think. Because yeah. he's going to fill the stat box, and that's kind of what these voters are looking at. And they'll they'll notice that. So I think he's going to be in that conversation. Could he be a pro bowler? I was super impressed by Collins in the preseason. Yeah. I thought he looked incredibly impressive for a rookie at that position. So I hope that's the case. Um, I really do. A pro bowler in his yeah. rookie year. That's okay. that was a hot. That was a bold take. Um, yeah, that, that's a hot take. Yeah, I will say here's the one. And when I th- I didn't mention this in the video, but I will say this is one thing I would say that was in the back of my mind. You know, a lot of times players don't go to the Pro Bowl and then replacement. So sometimes that bar mm-hmm. for what constitutes a Pro Bowler is lower. So, you know, I, I think baked into that prediction, if I'm being completely honest, is the idea that there might he might not be the first, you know, but, you know, how many off uh, middle linebackers you can have, maybe four or so on that Pro Bowl roster. Yeah. All it takes is for him to get a lot of, you know, that, that buzz that comes with being that rook, uh, defensive rookie of the year and the season he puts up and he gets number five in voting. And one of those guys ahead of him, you know, uh, doesn't make it, you know, so the, I think it's maybe more realistic than, than some might think, but I, I understand the hesitation. It's definitely one of the bolder predictions for sure. It is. It is. 